Uh, both packages were transported to the FBI's lab in Quantico, Virginia today, uh, where tests will be performed, analysis of uh, the, con the boxes, the containers, and what is in it, which will hopefully give us in some information that we can uh, conduct a further investigation. Right now, it's a matter of going uh, throughout the state looking at do we have any disgruntled people, anybody that had a vendetta against the state government or the uh, Maryland Department of Transportation, uh, anybody that has overtly made threats against the governor and or uh, Beverly Swain Staley, the secretary of the Department of Transportation. Uh, all of these things uh, we're looking at right now and investigators are running them out. We can't rule anything out right at the moment, but uh, we are looking at the postmarks on this. We are working with uh, the U.S. Postal Service uh, in this regard. Um, the mailings had um, uh, 44 cent stamps on them. Uh, so all of these things we're looking at to determine where they may have been mailed, if we can identify that, and what route they took. Uh, we're only 24 hours into this, and we've got a lot of people going out and doing a lot of things to try and uh, help us narrow this down where it originated and the route it took and who touched it, uh, because that's, they're all critical pieces of information. Uh, these kinds of things are very, very dangerous. Uh, we just don't know where this person is going with this. We don't know who it is. We don't know what uh, they're thinking about now, but we're very concerned about it. Uh, hopefully, the two devices that, uh, that we recovered yesterday are the only two, but we can't rule anything out. It's still, there still could be something out there that just hasn't been opened yet.